Let's go micro shelling in this giant micro pile of seashells. Let's check it out and see what we can find. We got two right in the center of the screen here. Can you spot the good ones? I know all of this stuff is so awesome, but look at this. We have a margin carry hiding down under here. Awesome, very hard to find. In my opinion, I never had much luck with them anyway. And then we have a really, really nice uh, patterned Mitra. Awesome, oh wow, look at that. We got another margin carry, just as I was looking around. Look at that, eh? Two margin carries and a really nice Mitra. That thing is like gem. Look at the lip on it. That's, that's awesome condition. It might be, I'd say, the best one I've ever found. Oh, yo, 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 yo. We also have a Wentel Trap. Second one, and this one's a sort of rounder one. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, that water is getting very close. Look at that. It's a tiny bit broken on the top, but it's super round. That's awesome. Stoked on that. Drop a like for that. This is what we got so far. Two Wentel traps, a lot of bean carries, and a lot of pheasant shells. This is awesome. I'm loving it today. <coughs> Stoked to be back out. Got a uh, bean carry. No one else is showing either, so everything's for me, I guess. Look at that. Look at that pheasant shell. It's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever found one with a texture like that. Usually they're shiny. What do we got in here? See a little bean. I collect pretty much any size bean. I've got a little container full of them that I'm trying to fill up. And this just goes on forever, so we're gonna be finding a lot of good stuff today. Got another bean. <coughs> what is that? That kind of looks, yeah, that looks exactly like what a Smurf wears. You know, their hats. That is very strange. I don't think I've ever seen one of those in my life. Maybe it is from a Smurf. Who knows? That's probably my best guess, honestly. More pheasants up the top here. Tiny orange one. Ah, there's a Nikaba Triton piece. It's a shame. What is that? That's a pretty cool Mitra. A bit different, hey? We've got so many colors in this today. It's awesome to look at. <coughs> Wish I could scoop all of these piles up into like a 20 liter container and just sift through them for hours and hours at home. <coughs> Slipper shell, nice. What else do we see? That's pretty cool clam. Not sure if it's live. I don't think it is because it's like really, really opening easily. I think it is empty. Yeah, it's empty. That's very cool. Guys, we found it. We've sure found it. It is broken on the top, but hey, that's a carrier shell and that has a bunch of stuff on it. How cool is that? Nice. That's all I've been looking for today. And look at that. It nearly got swept away here. Nice, dude. I don't even mind that it's broken. It's got a lot of stuff on it. That's awesome. Right at the front, too. How lucky is that, that it didn't get washed away? Let me try to show you guys this. Look at that. That is a tiny ovula. That is so cool. I've never found a small one like that. That's awesome. Definitely the best find of the day so far. Got a big old slipper shell. That is actually pretty nice size. That's nice. Might be one of the biggest I ever found. But as I was saying, I am still a little bit sick with the cold. Just a common cold. Got a bean carry there. But uh, pretty much back to normal. I'd say another day of uh, taking it easy. Another bean carry there. And we should be good to go. What do we got? So many pheasants here today. Look at this one, this one's nice. Oh no, it's a little bit broken. I think I'll leave it. Oh, what is that? Juvenile something. Oh wow, a vertebrae. Don't see those often. Vertebrae of some sort of fish. That's pretty neat. Oh, 
What do we got? Don't see much else in this little pile here. Might have to keep moving along. Yeah, I'd say so. We'll move another foot <coughs> down the line. Here we go. Just chill out here for a second. See what I can spot. Remember guys, you can also go showing uh, with me in the video. So comment down below what you see that I don't. That's a cool pheasant shell. Nice little pattern. <clears throat> Seems like the pheasant shells are being thrown up higher. Like, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dude, there's like 30 there. I'm only going to keep the best ones of those. It's a cool little one. Yeah, sorry if I sound like uh, sort of the same sort of voice with no excitement. I'm never usually like this if you guys have seen any of my other channels i've just had a cold for the last four or five days now and um yeah i don't really have too much energy but i am stoked to be back out here <coughs> really been enjoying micro shelling lately as well is that a mitra oh it is a mitra nice don't find those often at all sweet as Still no carrier. Oh my goodness, just as I was saying it, look. I was about to, I was just saying, still no carrier shell or Wendell trap. And there we have it. A Wendell trap sitting right in front of the screen. That's awesome, man. Wow. That is a sweet find. Check that out, huh? Let's put it right there and take a cool photo. Phew. Guys, let's look through some micro shell piles. We've got a massive pile all the way along here. Check this pile here. This one just keeps going. Look at that. This is gonna be good. So we're gonna start. We'll start right here, right at the front. See what we can find. Hoping for a lot of carrier shells today. Haven't found one in a while. Got a little Mitra there. It is high tide right now, so it's not gonna be getting any higher, hopefully. Got a carry there, and I saw another one. There it is, and a carry there. They're both the exact same cowries. I never know the proper name of those ones. Got a bean there. We're just getting started. There is a huge pile of shells. Oh no. Oh, well, I guess they actually are coming up. <coughs> so whenever it does that, it's throwing more up here. Awesome sort of filters these ones out as well just got to be careful with my container what do we got uh, the water look at that little clam that's pretty cool something different and a little bubble shell tiny super thin but it's nice look at these piles I love it can't get enough of it. Remember guys, comment down below if I miss anything cool, like a Wendell trap or just anything. We've got a slipper shell there. What else we got? Nice pheasant. Where's the pheasant gone? My hands are all sandy now. There it is. Nice little pheasant. Got a big Sputnik there. Very cool. Look at this pile right here. And in there, wow. Look at that. Mainly all broken stuff in these little piles that I've picked up on the last like six months that I've been doing this more. It's pretty odd. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good video today. Let's see what else we can find. This little pile here, I see a bunch of good stuff. We got a little Mitra, very cool. I feel like we're gonna be getting a lot of bean carries today because I've already seen like four in this little pile here pretty cool I really like beans but uh, a lot of people think they're really common and they really are they are everywhere and they're they're very plain shells like they have no color they're pretty much just a white cowry if I'm being honest nothing really special about them not sure why I like them but I just think they're cool so we are looking for carrier shells and wentel traps today more so uh, carrier shells than anything I love finding them. And today might be the day for a couple. There's a humongous pile here. 
Okay. What do we got here? Massive bean carry. That's pretty nice size. Sweet. We got another bean carry there. Won't show too much of the bean carries. There's really not much to them. Blue carry. Where's that carrier shell? Surely I'll find one soon. I personally prefer uh, carrier shells over wintel traps. They're both about as rare as each other here. Slipper shells, always nice. I do like the slipper shells. You guys get a lot of those in Florida. Got another bean down here. Won't show the beans anymore. Got a little topper shell. It's pretty cool. <coughs> What else do we have? That's pretty cool, look at that. A limpet filled with some water. Not too nice on top. I think I'll leave that one. Oh, almost tripped over a bit. All right, we've got a nice pile in here. Seems to be a lot of pheasants today. I would love to find a shuttle as well. It's pretty cool, nice pheasant. Is that a nutmeg? That is a nutmeg. How cool is that? We never ever find these. That's sweet. Awesome. I haven't found one of those in many, many months. Many months. Anything buried in here? Bubble shell piece. Couple of those sort of clam shells. Don't usually take them. That, that one's pretty big, so I think I'll keep it. <coughs> what else do we got? Pheasants everywhere. More purple barnacle pieces. See, that's another one. Tiny pheasant in there. Lots of coral as usual. Looks like there's a good amount of pheasant shells and different sort of stuff in here. I've got a big pheasant shell there. See, every pheasant shell, this is why I keep showing you guys the pheasants. Every one of them is so different in their patterns. Like, there's just two. And look how different they are. They're so cool to me. I love them. Wish I could display them all, but I have hundreds. And they're micro shells, so it would take so long to display them. I am still a little bit sick. We got two bean carries here. Look at that. Yeah, I am still a little bit sick with the cold. Hold on, that's a, uh, wow, that's so cool. That's an ovula, I think. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That is rare. Oh, come on, focus. Let's see what we got in this little pile here. Spotted that, that would have been a tiny hairy triton shell. The sun is starting to set, so have to be a bit quick. Whoa, we got a bunch of dogs around me. Cool. Got a bean carry. Sorry, buddies, I wish I could pat you. There we go, Sputnik piece, pretty cool. Nice little piece to add into the micro collection. Look at that. Oh, oh it is, yeah. Little crab claw, that's pretty unique. Don't think I'll keep it. I've never kept any pieces of uh, crab. Some people keep like the head shells and all that sort of thing. I got no problem with it, I just don't do it. That's all. Oh, is that a grape? That is a grape. Super beat up. I think I'll keep it. You guys, look at this. We've only been shelling for about three meters and we've got another 10 or 15 meters to go. Let's see what else we can find. This is, this is awesome. I haven't seen the beach like this in a while. Massive pile right here that's just washed up literally 30 seconds ago how awesome is that and the tide's dropping now so we'll have like access to all of this in like 10 minutes that's awesome all right let's see what we can find a hey, uh giant pheasant shell here uh yeah i guess it is kind of big it's a tiny bit broken unfortunately but hey it's a big one still still no carrier shells but uh 
Yeah, I'm sure we'll find one soon. Surely. I mean, look at the size of this pile. And it's just bringing more and more up. Goodies right here, something I don't usually see every day. Look at that. How nice is that, hey? Uh, my mate Joel always tells me what these ones are called, but uh, I always forget. And we got a pink coral piece. They're really hard to find. The pink coral and that, uh, I just call it a nutmeg for now. Because it looks awfully a lot, a lot like one. <coughs> There's a slipper shell. Classic. Very cool. Another slipper shell, they're everywhere lately. Nice. Finally, you guys, we have our first clandestine. Nice, I just found a pair of teeth of these like five minutes ago. Awesome, I, I had a feeling we'd eventually find one. So now we found two wental traps, a ton of bean carries, a ton of pheasant shells. <coughs> There's another two. And uh, if I didn't say it already, two wental traps. Now we only need a carrier shell. Then I'll be content with the day. It's all I love finding here right now. It's carrier shells. Usually they're up in these higher up piles, sort of sitting on their own. No idea why, that's just mainly where I've been finding them. Finding them. Yo, that's a giant sand dollar. That's huge. Might be the biggest one ever. <clears throat> See all the red coral bits as well. It's pretty sweet. Giant slipper shell. Sure is. Big one. Oh, there's a margin. Third margin of the day, you're joking. Sweet. And there's a giant pheasant. Uh, it's not that big. Pretty nice size though. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing all the time, guys. Alrighty. What have we got? Pheasants galore, let me tell you. They're everywhere. Look at that one. Cool. Oh, still no carrier. I'll find one. Wow, that's a sweet pattern. How cool is that? I like that one. Here looks like a nice pile. What do we got? What do we got? Tons of these mitras as well. Just a huge amount. What do we got? Droop shell. These ones are everywhere. There's probably over 30 million of these on this beach, I reckon, live and empty. <coughs> They're everywhere. You know what, I'm gonna take it because there's that many, I don't think I've ever even kept one. Pretty strange, isn't it? Got a nice red pheasant there. Nice. Slipper shells. Let me show you guys some different shells, hey? Some shells I wouldn't usually keep. Like this one here, this is a oyster, I believe. Pretty sweet. They're everywhere, really nasty on the front side and then underneath they have this crazy like fluorescent color pretty cool <clears throat> what else do we have it's more so just pieces sometimes you get these topper shells sometimes usually when you do they're alive but that one's empty sundial here right next to my foot don't don't see those often at all actually. So that's nice. What else? I saw this at the corner of my eye. That's a type of nutmeg, maybe. Looks a bit tall to be one. I have no idea, actually. Comment down below if you guys know. I'm not sure at all. They're definitely micro shells today. Literally all of these shells are super tiny. Usually they aren't this tiny.
two rarish things here. Got a big serif. Usually these are alive, so that's pretty cool. And then we have another what I called net nutmeg. Nice. And then I think this might be a piece of a mirror. Oh no, definitely not. It's the wrong color. Uh, that's a shame. Look at this pile. Gigantic, huh? It's back in this little pile here at the front. Yes, the first thing I saw here. A grape carry, huh? Pretty cool. I think that, yeah, that is the second one of the day. It's much nicer. The other one was broken as. <clears throat> now, I saw a couple of big pheasants. Here we go. Not too big, but super cool colors. So imagine if these shells, the pheasant shells that I'm showing, were like that big man. How cool would that be? Oh, yes, we do. We got a third, uh, what is it, bubble shell. That's right. Third one of the day. I think it might be the biggest. Let's see. Yeah, it is the biggest. I can't find the other ones, so that's how you can tell if they're the biggest. <coughs> bunch of sand dollars. I've passed probably 30 sand dollars that I've actually seen. They're just everywhere here. Here is everything that we found today. Wasn't able to sort all this out because it's uh, sunset right now, but I put all the best ones here. We have the two Wentel traps right there, the carrier shell, and the tiny Avula. How neat is that little uh, quad find there? That is awesome. My favorite find of the day though, would have to be the carrier, honestly. I've never found a carrier with that much stuff on it, which is pretty neat. Uh, then we had three margin carries. There's another one in the pile there. Found a grape. Uh, what else did we get? DNA coral at the top there. A nutmeg, that was pretty sweet. And whatever you call that, maybe a frog thing or something. I got no idea. Uh, what else did we get? Bunch of slipper shells, some clams, pink coral, clandestine, and then things like the bean carries, uh, a lot of the pheasants and stuff in there. Pretty nice haul today. I'm pretty happy with that. There was a huge pile. Check out, check this out. How cool is that? Alright, thanks for watching guys, subscribe below.